coming up next. The 2024 West Africa Sec Secondary Certificate Examination, that's a WASI. That's a bit away from politics. Risk delaying, I mean, I'm talking about the results. Risk delaying due to government's indebtedness to WAEC. We're here from WAEC, how they're dealing with this situation. That's coming up next here on Ghana Tonight. And the, the release of the 2024 West African Secondary School Certificate Examination, that's WASI results, risk delay. This is because of the government of Ghana's indebtedness to WAEC. Now, let's have a quick conversation on this matter. John Copy speaks for the West African Examination Council, WAEC. He's joining us on Zoom right now. Mr. Copy, good evening. Thank you very much for joining us here on Ghana tonight. And I've got some information that, first of all, I want to confirm from you. We're getting this information that because government owes you, WAEC, some money, that could impact on the release of the WASI results, correct? Thank you. Um, yes, we. I, I remember before we started the exams, I indicated that the government had given us some amount of money meant for us to uh, conduct the examination. And then in the aftermath of the examination, we would need some more money to be able to go uh, through our post-examination activities and then process and release the results. So as we speak, yes, uh, whatever money that was given to us, and that was meant for the conduct of the exam, we've been able to you know, carry out that mandate, but uh, no further funds have been released. And so we um, anticipating that, well, very soon some money will be released, otherwise they could have some effects on the post-examination activities. I, I see, so by post-examination activities, you mean the marking of the exam scripts? Yes, the marking of the WAS scripts, yes. I see, but apart from the marking of the WAS scripts, which other post-exam activities has been or could be impacted by this uh, indebtedness to you? Basically, what um, we're saying is that it's a kind of chain that we are working with. Um, once the exams are over, we have to process, I mean, mark the scripts, process the results, release them, so that investors can also uh, go ahead with their admissions and then their academic calendar can also, you know, take off smoothly. Now, if there's any delay on our part, it will also delay the uh, academic calendar for the investors and probably it may have some effects on um, all other students who are going to any other tertiary institution for that matter. I see. So how much does government owe you, WAEC, now? Well, um, I don't have the exact figure here, but the total amount for the was for school candidates 2024 is uh, 186.437 million, a few additional hundreds of cities. All right, so before the commencement of the examination, the government gave us 60.9 million. So that's about a third of the amount that was needed. So we've been able to send officers out there. They've gone to do whatever they need to do. But now we need to also pay the personnel that we use for the examinations. We should be able to pay examiners who are going to start marking the scripts very soon and any other persons that we engage, whose services we engage to be able to complete the process of, uh, you know, uh, marking and releasing the results. Well, and that's a big issue indeed. And we'll keep an eye on this one. Mr. Kapi, thank you for joining us here on Ghana tonight. And, and parents equally concerned about this and how that could impact on the, the delay in, in the release of the WASI results. But thank you. He speaks for the West African Examinations Council. This is Ghana tonight.